Hey guys, now that the truck is finished, the overdrive works like a champ, I'm gonna work on the air conditioning. So we are building today uh, my Redneck air conditioner. It's gonna involve a transmission cooler, some fuel line or transmission line, some ice, so ice, some water, circulation pump. Ice water circulates through the transmission cooler. I've got a fan that'll be blowing over it. Probably won't work, because if it did, more people would do it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So we've got the cooler right here. I'm gonna put a line on one side, and I don't think it's necessary to put any clamps on it because there isn't really gonna be any pressure. There's that. I'm gonna rip this ice open and put it in the cooler. Oh, that's so nice. Got some water right here. Got a boat bilge pump. Gonna shove this hose inside. It doesn't fit like it's supposed to, but as long as it fits okay, then I'm all right with it. All right, and I'm gonna need a a return which I could always return it like like this yeah I'll do that and I'll hook up this battery now we're going to circulate water through it and I'm gonna see how cold the cooler the transmission cooler gets and then I'm gonna try wiring up a fan and have the fan blow through it and see if I get nice cold air. Oh my goodness, that is cold, 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 guys. So cold, I can't hold it. That is super cold. All right, I like how this is going so far. So now I need a fan. Okay. You know what? I have a uh, I have a fan that I'm going to be using in the truck. This is not it, but just for the heck of it, I want to see how cold this gets. Ho oh. ho! It works! It works! That is some cold air. That is some cold air. <laughs> All right. Oh. The only real problem I see is that the condenser evaporator this is going to technically be evaporator it's collecting a lot of moisture that's why they have in the uh, AC they have these in the uh, plastic boxes with drains because they sweat a lot
that's good enough, I'm going to go for it. I mean, why not? I wish I could make this all self-contained. Let me find the fan. Where did I put the fan? Ah, there it is. Alright guys, so this is the fan that I've got. It's an automotive fan. It's a little bigger than I wanted. But, uh, it'll be fine. Oh man. It doesn't come with a plug. It sure doesn't. So we are going to attach this fan to this cooler and it'll be uh, movable. Like I can put this in my lap if I feel like it. I don't think I'd want to because this thing sweats so much. So what I'm doing is I am going to wire this up and I don't have a way of plugging in but I'm going to run to the local electronic store and I'm going to get a cigarette lighter plug in and uh, I should be able to plug in with a cigarette lighter and unplug so there won't be any need for a switch and I can I can be cool on the way that's what I'm doing alright so here's the fan don't really need it to get wet but I think it'll be okay it's just temporary alright so hot hot and hot. I'm going to put all these together and hopefully it won't be too much of a draw for the cigarette lighter. Alright, so now all I have to do is go and pick up a uh, cigarette lighter and some zip ties and I should be good to go. Alright, so I've got some zip ties. Let me get four of them out of this pack. There's two. Four. So all we got to do is get this. Get the ice off of it. Didn't expect the ice to stick to it. Alright. And I'm going to attach this fan to this. Tell you what, this is pretty dumb working over a cooler. Three zip ties. Yeah, I saw it. I think it's a an old hose to the old rear end for the, the vent to it. It ain't hurt no. That's a 66? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it's kind of rough. <laughs> 
zip tie. Okay, so there's that. Now, which way is this thing going to blow whenever I hook it up? Alright, let's try it now. I need something for this to stand on. I think I just found it. Let's see if it'll cool me off. <laughs> 